Imagine sitting in your car, sipping coffee, scrolling through your phone, or maybe even taking a nap, all while your car takes you safely to your destination. What once sounded like pure science fiction is now inching closer to reality, self-driving cars. So let's uncover self-driving cars. How do they work? What allows a car to see, make decisions, and move without human hands on the wheel? That's what we're about to explore right here on History of Simple Things. For decades, people have dreamed of cars that could drive themselves. In old science fiction movies, you'd see characters hopping into sleek vehicles that whisk them away without anyone touching the controls. But today, that dream isn't just on movie screens, it's on our roads. Companies like Tesla, Waymo, and even traditional automakers are investing billions into this technology. But here's the big question. What's going on behind the scenes? How can a machine safely handle something as complex as driving, something humans spend years learning and still struggle to perfect? At its core, a self-driving car is a robot on wheels. Instead of arms and legs, it has wheels, brakes, and pedals. Instead of eyes and ears, it uses cameras, radars, and sensors. And instead of a brain, it has powerful computers running advanced artificial intelligence software. Together, these parts allow the car to do three key things, sense the world, make decisions, and act. This is the foundation of how self-driving works. The first challenge is vision. For a car to drive on its own, it needs to know what's happening around it. Humans rely on eyes and brains. A self-driving car relies on a mix of cameras, lighter, radar, and ultrasonic sensors. Cameras act like human eyes, capturing visuals of lanes, traffic lights, and road signs. LIDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, uses lasers to build a 3D map of the environment, almost like echolocation, but with light. Radar sends out radio waves to detect how far away objects are and how fast they're moving. Great for spotting cars even in fog or rain. Ultrasonic sensors handle short-range tasks, like detecting a nearby curb or another car while parking. Each of these technologies has strengths and weaknesses, but when combined, they give the car a detailed understanding of its surroundings. It's like giving the vehicle a superhuman set of senses. Seeing is one thing, but making sense of what's being seen is another. Imagine driving. You don't just notice a red light, you understand it means stop. You don't just see a cyclist, you anticipate they might swerve around a pothole. That's where the car's AI and machine learning come in. The onboard computer takes all the data from sensors and processes it in real time. It has to identify, is that object a pedestrian, a car, or just a plastic bag blowing in the wind? Is that light green or red? Where are the lane markings, even if they're faded or partially covered? To train these systems, engineers feed them millions of images and driving scenarios, teaching the AI to recognize patterns. It's a bit like how humans learn. The more practice, the better. Once the car understands the world around it, it has to decide what to do next. Should it speed up, slow down, change lanes, or come to a stop? This decision-making process is called path planning. The car's computer weighs all the information, the speed of nearby vehicles, the position of lane lines, traffic laws, and even predictions of what other drivers might do. For example, if a ball rolls onto the street, the AI might predict that a child could follow. It will then decide whether to brake hard, swerve, or both, just like a human driver would, but hopefully faster and safer. Finally, the car has to act. Once it decides what to do, the system sends commands to the car's physical controls, 
the steering brakes and accelerator. This happens in fractions of a second, much quicker than human reflexes. What makes it even more fascinating is how smoothly the car needs to act. A human can slam the brakes in a panic, but a self-driving car has to balance safety with comfort. Nobody wants to feel like they're on a roller coaster every time the car changes lanes. If the technology is so advanced, why aren't our roads full of self-driving cars already? The truth is, there are still major challenges. Weather, heavy rain or snow can block sensors and confuse cameras. Unpredictable humans, pedestrians jaywalk, cyclists weave through traffic, and drivers break rules. AI struggles with chaos. Ethical dilemmas. What should the car do in an unavoidable crash scenario? Who takes responsibility? Regulation and safety standards. Governments are still figuring out how to manage and approve these vehicles. These hurdles mean that while self-driving cars are improving rapidly, widespread adoption will take time. Despite the challenges, the potential benefits are huge. Imagine a world where accidents caused by human error, like texting while driving or drunk driving, are drastically reduced. Roads could become safer, traffic smoother, and people who can't drive, like the elderly or disabled, could gain independence. Self-driving cars could also improve fuel efficiency by driving more smoothly and reducing traffic jams. Delivery trucks could operate 24 7 lowering costs and speeding up services. Self-driving cars are more than just cool gadgets. They represent a massive shift in how we live and move. They promise safety, efficiency, and convenience, but they also raise tough questions about ethics, jobs, and trust. So next time you see a car cruising by without a driver behind the wheel, you'll know exactly what's happening under the hood and just how incredible that technology really is. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.